Hello guys, um, I'm Jose and this is tutorial number 10 on loading external libraries. Um, so, if we go to the processing website, we will see that here in reference libraries, um, we can see that there's a, a lot of external libraries um, that we could uh, include in processing in order to just ex expand its functionality. Basically, what is a library? It's a library. It's a it's a class written by someone else, or a series of classes uh, written by someone else to, to implement some specific functionality. So, in that way, you can maintain your code short and use the functionality developed by some other people. We will be using um, several of these libraries. Some of them are uh, extremely useful and uh, allow us to to access more complex um, uh, bits of code. So. For instance, we're going to start with one of my favorite ones that is down at the bottom. If you look in the area compilations, we'll see Toxiclips. Um, Toxiclips library, um, if we click on that, uh, and then we can click in this link here, it will take us um, to the place where we can download the library. Um, let's see here in downloads again right so this is the version of the library that we will download you will click on this one the zip file um, so let's do that do you want to save it yes so this will save a, a zip file for you if we check on our finder or in your PC wherever you're downloading your material you will uh, be able to unpack this zip file right and this is the file that we're getting out of this it's a file it's a folder that contains uh, several elements um, to include um, in processing so where do we uh, put this information? If we, if you open your documents in PC, it's my documents. In Mac, it's uh, your username and the folder documents. There should be a folder called processing that is automatically generated once you um, you open processing for the first time. Uh, again, if you are in the PC, uh, this is located in my documents. If you are in Mac, it should be username and documents right and then just processing this folder should be completely empty completely empty um, if you don't have this uh, folder called libraries build it up so new folder and name it libraries in here we will start putting all the content of external libraries that we will um, be working with so let's go inside and you can see that I already have several uh, libraries here, several information. So you can see that all the content of toxic libs, audio utilities, color utilities, data utilities, etc. Uh, it's already part of my folder here, these different elements. So put these elements in here. Um, if that was done properly, we can go back to processing. You will have to close processing or completely quit processing if you are in the Mac sometimes uh, people close it but it's still somehow running in the background so you need to quit processing and open it again in order to to allow for these pro uh, for these libraries to uh, load so if we go now to file sketchbook you will have probably just one thing here that says libraries we can go into some of the examples provided by the library And uh, we can see some of those examples. For instance, interpolate test. This is a script written by Karsten Schmidt. And we get some functionality, some very specific bit of code showing how to work with some of these uh, classes. We can see that in the script, I won't go in detail into what it's written, but it's implementing through this line it's importing the library toxi, uh, dot math, right? So there's functionality of math uh, that it's not part of processing, but it's been written 
for having more uh, um, uh, complex behaviors and content, right? So we will start doing uh, the next um, tutorial will be in vectors and we will be using Toxic Leaps library um, to start running with um, some of these external libraries as well. Um, so I hope it's clear.